good morning from the grand opening media event of the NBA experience at Disney Springs. So because it's a media event, Disney is providing us with entrance for free to the event. But I'm excited. I'm excited to see what the NBA experience is all about. I know that we will probably get to shoot some hoops, do some basketball. They said that there might be some NBA stars here. Unfortunately, I don't know any NBA stars. So uh, I don't know who's going to be here. And we'll just see what's going on. We've been waiting for a pretty long time since Disney Quest closed for the NBA experience to open. So I'm excited to see what it's all about. So there it is, the NBA experience. Grand opening. They're getting the stage all set up and ready for the grand opening celebration. They have a little setup here for all of the merchandise for the NBA experience, which I believe we saw most of this when we were touring the NBA store during the last tour of Disney Springs, but they have this spirit jersey that looks like a basketball. That's pretty fun. Also, look at this backpack. They gave us what's called a one sheet, which actually gives a description of everything that we're gonna be able to do today. I'm kind of excited for this dunk one because that means they're going to adjust the hoop down so that maybe I could dunk, because I'm not very good at jumping, even though I am a little bit tall. Here it is, there's the stage for the NBA experience. This is where we're gonna be watching the opening ceremony for the grand opening. Award-winning reporter, anchor, and host, Rachel Nichols. Right behind me is where you will enter into an immersive world where all your basketball dreams are just a layup away. This was developed in cooperation with Walt Disney Imagineering and the NBA, inspired by the league's 29 arenas around the country. Disney, we don't play a horse, we play mouse. And let me just say from the NBA standpoint, um, we want to be Disney when we grow up. These types of experiences are what the league's all about. When you step foot into an arena, the excitement, you'll feel it. When you come into the tunnel, only a few people in the world get to actually experience it, some of these people on the stage. But this is the next best thing. This is the NBA experience. So ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is your NBA experience. Let's start the countdown. Help me out here. Five, four, three, two, one. Now that it is officially open, we are heading inside. So we're inside the retail store, and I believe we've already been in here, but this wasn't there when we came in. Big old neon NBA sign with basketballs inside of it. Before we head in, I found this little bit of merchandise here. It's like a little ball that you put your finger in, and then it looks like you're spinning the ball like you're really good at basketball. And it's super light, too. It's an inflatable ball. For $16.99, we are headed inside now. We're headed up to the second floor for the press junket but I'm getting a quick glimpse of all the different things that are available on the first floor. We've got a bunch of stuff up here. The slingshot, 
NBA 2K Battlegrounds, NBA 2K. And then we've got some, like the, the arcade game for shooting. This actually looks super fun. They have a slingshot game where you can shoot basketballs with a slingshot. So I tap in my card. Oh, it like lit me up. It's counting down for us and we've got to shoot the ball into the basket. Okay, now we've got an idea of how to do it. Also, I'm doing this one-handed. Oh, darn. All right, let's try the higher one, I feel like. Oh, that was close. All right, it's the second half now, so points are worth more. Oh, points are worth more now. I haven't made any baskets. Oh, ah, it shot out of the thing at me. Oh no, I've only got 14 seconds left and I haven't gotten any. All right, it's overtime, so baskets are worth 10 now. I haven't, what if I just throw it at it? Ah. <laughs> Game over. Dang. So they brought us in here for a press junket and all the stars that were up on the stage are gonna be over here answering questions. The beauty of Disney is that they all are unique and they're all they all are different, but they all are special. That's what that's what's so amazing about the stories and the way they were written is that they all come from different backgrounds, they all have different meanings, but they all are still special. It almost gives you that hope that you don't have to be exactly like someone else in order to be a special human being, so. Now, one of uh, my favorite characters would be, uh, I think, Princess Tiana. Um, and I think because I, I see the way that my nieces were able to see themselves in her and, um, and fall in love with her. So I think that probably be one of my favorite, just because of how it's touched and how everything's evolved. I'm actually a big Tigger guy. Okay. I like Tigger from Way of the Pooh. Uh, he's, he's not really like me at all, like, especially from a basketball perspective, like, my game's really predicated on staying on the floor and being attached to the floor as much as possible, and Tigger's known for his bouncing and leaping ability, so I, I admire that, you know, I think he'd be a great player and a great dunker as well. <laughs> I think for me, I came to Disney when I was six or seven, so back in the 70s, and um, here in Magic Kingdom, and took a picture with Goofy, and so, uh, and I could kind of relate, I was tall, I had big ears, kind of goofy, a little awkward, so that was uh, someone who I've always enjoyed. And I get to see him now with my kids, you know, the fact that there's more characters now, and so on and so forth, but, but Goofy has a, a special place in my heart. Now we're gonna try to check out some of the other experiences around the NBA experience. First up, dunk. Okay, we tap in. We can raise and lower the hoop anywhere from seven to 10 feet. So right now it's at eight foot three. I'm gonna make it real low, down to seven feet, right there. All right, seven foot one. This should be pretty easy for me to dunk on because I got the camera in my hand too. So let's see. Oh, I did it. All right, I'm a real basketball. Let's raise it up a little bit. What do you guys think? You guys think I can do eight feet? All right, there's eight feet, eight foot two. Okay, I can do it. Oh, I did it. I'm a basketball player. So the other thing that they told me is that as soon as you tap in with your magic band, because you'll have linked your ticket to your magic band, as soon as you get inside of this arc right here, motion sensors start taking photos of you. So you get some cool slam dunk photos that'll be linked to your My Disney experience of you slam dunking. And they also have Papa Shot here. So this is the three-pointer. So I'm gonna play, see how good I can do. I don't know what that means. Does that mean go? Do I go? No, okay. All right. I'm not left-handed, by the way. I'm, I feel like I'm doing pretty good for being left-handed right now and not looking at what I'm doing. Ah, did that one count? I got 15. That's pretty good. I mean, it's no 48. 15's pretty good, though. They also have another one over here that's two-pointer, but it's a little bit more difficult because it moves around on you. Here we go. When does it start? Oh no, look, there it goes, it's moving now. Oh dear. Look at that. I feel like I'm terrible at this game. I'm telling you guys, I'm a basketball. Oh, that was exciting. Oh man, maybe I'll get drafted. I think there is a thing over an experience where you can get drafted into the NBA as part of the NBA experience. Oh, how did I do? 28! Man, somebody signed me to a team. Okay, there's a kiosk over here where it says tap to personalize. Okay, how do, what do I do? Who's my favorite team? 
Uh, the Orlando Magic. I'm a beginner. What's your nickname? Okay, the pass fan. Uh, thank oh, we did it. Okay, I'm a pass fan. All right, here we go. We're going to do one called replay. It's your turn to be a replay center official. Oh, I think I have to call a basketball game. We get to be a ref, and we have to watch the play again and make sure if we made the right call. Oh, yeah. Pass fan zero zero. That's my nickname. Decide okay, and we like tap on it, right and we, we have to watch. Ooh. What did he do? He got hit in the face. Just take, okay, okay, oh God, what does he do? Yes. So this okay, um, what does baseline mean? Oh, that's where it's, it's a camera from the baseline. Okay, and then we confirm it. I'm ready. Or we overturn it. So let's see it. Was it a three-pointer? It was totally a three-point shot. All right, let's watch this again. Let's see it from the overhead. Does his foot cross the line? No, yeah, it was a three-pointer right there. That was perfect. Okay, let's see it from the sideline here. Can I zoom in? Okay. Yeah, no, it's definitely a three-pointer. I confirm it. That's what I say. I'm Judge Tim, or uh, what was my name? I am correct. I did it. Pass fan zero zero. You're welcome, omniscient voice. I think I can head downstairs now, and we'll see what experiences are downstairs. Here's a quick look at the map for level two. So we did slingshot, we did the arcade, we did dunk. We haven't done dribble, trivia, draft, or shoot. We did replay, and now we're down on the first floor. And we've got some films, we've got champions, players, and combine. I don't know what combine is. It's not called combine, it's the combine, and this is what NBA players go through on their way to becoming NBA players. So they're gonna test my shooting ability, measure my wingspan, and I guess measure my vertical leap. I'm gonna go through the combine, and we gotta, I don't know, I have to do all kinds of different physical activities, so we'll see how we do. Well, that wasn't right. I can touch nine feet. Oh, now I have to shoot. The gold one's going to be WNBA, this one's going to be NBA, so... All right. Give me that ball right here. Well, it's very light. Are they this light normally? Yeah. Okay. Stand behind the line. I missed. I see you, boss. All right, let's end on a good note, brother. Let's end on this good note. Okay. That's the no. Hey, man, that's the I got good one. Shot. That's I got the good one. Shot. Count, right? It's not bad. It's not bad. It's not. 65 inch wingspan. Okay. I feel like it, it only measured to my wrist, though. I felt like when I was looking at the image, it was, it was yeah. wider. Well, that was it. That was fun. Up next, there's a section called Champions, where they have some interactive screens where you can click on them, and then you can pick WNBA or NBA, and then you can go through all of the different years and who was the champion that year, or you can just click view by team and it brings up each year and who won that year. So like the 1996 Chicago Bulls, world champions, MJ is back and so are the Chicago Bulls. And then it gives you some information about it. So like there's Michael Jordan. And then it tells you who won each game, what the final game count was. And then you can do some highlight reels here from the game. So you can click on this video and watch a highlight from the game. Ooh, dang, did you see that pass with the slam dunk? And then swipe around here and you can see all of the different championships that this team has won over the years. It's kind of neat. Like a lot of history about the NBA. They've got some photo spots here where you can hold the NBA MVP trophy right here. And then I believe you can take your photo with it. 
Let's give it a try. Congratulations, Pass Fan Zero Zero. You've been nominated MVP. Look at that. Lift the trophy. What if I could? I'm going to try to get it on like three, two, one, because it gives me three, two, one, and I'm going to try to drop it and see five, four, three, two, one. I think that those were probably really good. Oh yeah, I look like a magician half the time. That's fun. And then they also have a Larry O'Brien trophy. This is the NBA championship trophy that you can take your photo with as if it were the real thing. I mean, it feels like plastic, but still it's nice. Look at that reflection in there. Look at that. They have some handprints from various NBA players so you can see how big your hand is compared to theirs. Like, here's Carmelo Anthony. He's got a really big palm. His finger's a little bit longer than mine. Kevin Durant. Oh yeah, his hand's way bigger than mine. John Wall. I feel like his thumb is just bigger than mine. Steph Curry. My hand's about the same size as his. And then Damian Lillard. Hey there, Mick. How's it going? You having a good day? You've been practicing your b-ball skills? Oh, yeah. Ooh. Yeah. And you're going to make the team, right? Or you're already on the team. You're the captain of the team. Yeah, there it is. Number one, Mickey. Does Donald Duck have anything to say about that? Because isn't, isn't he always saying, like, he's number one? Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's what I thought. Is he, He's on a different team, though, right? He has his own team. You have your own team. Minnie has her own team. Everybody has their own team. But you don't, you, everybody wins no matter what though, right? Exactly. So also on the first floor, they have a couple of films. This one over here is about a player who had to step away from the game in order to be with his family. And this one over here is about a father and daughter who go to an Orlando Magic game and it inspires the daughter to take her first shot. I think it just means that she is inspired to do things in life. Back up on the second floor. Dribble is now open. It was closed off for a little bit. Oh, trivia looks like fun too. I don't think that I would win at trivia at all. And here we go, we're gonna go do dribble. I'll give you immediate analytical feedback on how well you're doing. I'm a, I'm a I'll talk in the upper right hand corner and chop us down through each drill. Let's okay. get started. Here we go. Ball in front of you and smack it as hard as you can. The goal here is to get you loose, a little supreme level of confidence, and get you comfortable handling the basketball. We're gonna do our pound ball to waist with our dominant hand. For me, that means I'll start with my right hand. Pound that ball as hard as you can through the ground, keeping your eyes up. Survey the floor. Good job. Perfect. For our last drill, let's get into our pound cross. The pound cross is a little bit difficult, but I want you to work on it. Pound that ball to the ground and cross over. Pound it, cross. Pound it, cross. Pound it, cross over. Good. This is where you change the game a little bit. Think about being an NBA level point guard. Think elite, exceptional, unstoppable. Good job. They have a section here where you can be drafted into the NBA with a wax figure of the commissioner. How's it going, commish? Look at this. And he's holding the basketball? He was just on stage this morning. All right, let's do it. And then you like tap to begin and they take your photo. So let's see what we do. Number one draft pick. Pass fan, zero, zero. Number one draft pick. <laughs> they didn't show me my photos, but hopefully they came through on my Disney experience and we can put them in right now. Camera noise. Now we're in a section called shoot, and it looks like you have to beat the buzzer, and there's a crowd back here that'll cheer you on. Look at them, they're getting all excited. It's nerve wracking, and what you do is you have 15 seconds on the clock, and you have to go to five different spots and make the shot. So you see here number one, number two, number three, four, and then five. And every time that you make one, the crowd goes a little bit more and more wild. They're cheering you on. Let's see if we can do it. Here we go. And of course, I've got the camera, so this is gonna be fun and exciting. 15 seconds on the clock. All right, where's my spot number one? Oh, number one, right there. All right, here we go. Oh, no, I missed it. Okay, number two. Number two is a layup. All right, it went in. Okay, good. Number three, number three. 
Oh, I missed again. Oh no. I'm getting closer. Okay, here we go. Oh no. Oh, with the buzzer. With the buzzer. And I made it. Right? Did I? I think I win. Oh, uh, two shots. My name's not Dustin, but I like it. I'm a top prospect. They have a recreation of a locker room that you would find in all of the different stadiums around the nation. Different NBA and WNBA teams. And then they have these touch screens here where you can learn all kinds of different stats about the different teams and the different players on the team. So this is a WNBA team. And if you click on a person, then you can learn all about them, how they've been doing in 2019 versus their career. This is their three pointers as of 8-3 2019. So it's pretty up to date. It seems like a lot of the basketball players have beats for headphones. Wow pretty neat to see the different things that they have in their lock. Whoa, you can see how big their shoes are. Hello, Minnie. How are you? Have you been practicing your basketball skills? Oh, you're so good at that. You have like such a, like a, a fantastic way of dribbling. I don't even know how to put it. It's like, it's very uh, beautiful. So there you have it. That was our trip to the grand opening media day of the NBA experience. It was a pretty fun day. I do have to admit though, I don't think that the NBA experience is for everybody. If you are a huge basketball fan, I think you'll have a blast at the NBA experience. If you're kind of like a casual basketball fan, I don't know if you will enjoy it as much as a hardcore basketball fan, because there was a lot of statistics and learning about the game of basketball and the basketball players and what they do on a daily basis and how to become a better basketball player that I think that a lot of people that really enjoy basketball will enjoy but if you're just a casual basketball fan I don't know if this is exactly the venue for you but all in all I had a fun day today I really wish I had been better at the slingshot that was probably my favorite part and then also like learning to dribble was fun but all in all fantastic day so with that being said we are off We'll see you guys tomorrow. Dan and Gail Perlovic from Lafayette, Indiana. And now it's time to pay the price. <laughs>